being comfortable, that you really want to go above and beyond your marriage, your finances, your health, your relationship. If you want to go gung-ho far and beyond what you've already been told you to do, I'm just going to leave the altar open. If that's you, let's come and be in union with Christ Jesus. Be that second mile Christian that God has called you to be. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for hearing him. Thank you for the stirring in your spirit. Thank you for the call. Thank you for, for just not staying where you ought to stay, but thank you for taking the extra step, the second mile, to walk the second mile for Jesus. Oh, bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Make way. There's still some people coming. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Open up the windows of heaven, God. Pour out a blessing. Pour out a blessing in this place. Your people long for you, God. Your people long for you. Your people long for you. Hallelujah. The two things in your hands. It's a piece of bread. And some juice. There is a constant reminder in the word of God to all his children every, every time. And that reminder is this. God continues to say to his people, remember me. Remember. Remember me. It's constantly acknowledging God every day of our lives. Now we're a people, we live on planet Earth, and we face many hardships. We go through many trying things. And sometimes we feel that no one else listens. No one else hears our cry. No one can see the prayers that we had to pray on ourselves. No one can see the battles that you, you've walked through alone by yourself. I want you to do this. I know I can't see it. I know that your friends can't see it. But I want you to know that God sees it. Your heavenly Father knows every struggle, every tear, every waking moment of your life. Your Father has seen you crawl on your belly. Your Father has seen the steps that you have taken. He knows everything. He knows you're in and you're out. And He knows the state of your heart. At this moment, Let's remember God. If you need to say a prayer about yourself, now is the time. Because I feel that His Spirit is alive in this place. And I believe answers will be provided. God, we remember you. We remember you, God. My belly hurts, Jesus. My chest has been scraped with all the stuff that I've gone through. Yes. My feet are tired because I can't walk a mile like many other people can. I can't run as fast. And I feel, Lord, that my face is constantly in the dirt of life. In the dirt of things. And I just want to be real with you, God, that I am tired of it all. But I look to you who is the refiner and the refresher of my life. That though the outward man is falling apart, the inward man is being renewed each day. And so we lift you up, God, that I am not going to focus on the exterior and the dirt in my life. But I am going to focus on the lifter of my head, my redeemer, my savior. And I pray, God, that you continue to do a work. That you build the wings that you have for me. That I may soar. No more shackles. No more chains. No more bondage. 
because I am free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, when he broke the bread with his disciples, he said, this is my body. This is my body. Of course, you know that his body was offered as a living sacrifice for us, giving us the freedom. It is by his body that we got wings, that we experience his presence in this building. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, take this. I want you to eat it. And when you eat it, he said, do it in remembrance of me. I want you to know that God remembers every bit and he keeps a log of all the things that you've gone through. And it is only through him that we can be overcomers. When you take the bread, let us remember our God. Take it. After he had broken bread with his disciples, he, he poured wine in the cup and he gave it to his disciples. And he says, take this. This is my blood. The blood of the new covenant. What that tells me is the moment I receive this in Jesus' name, all things will pass away. God is going to do a new thing in my life. He's going to make rivers run through the deserts of my life. He's going to bring a refreshing, an anointing, a newness in the name of Jesus. When I drink this cup, God, I know it's for the new covenant. It's for the new thing that you are about to do in my life, my friend's life, my wife's life, my husband's life, my kid's life, my church, God. And when I partake of this, I'm going to declare that you can make all things new. Let's drink the cup. You hope just take some moment and just reflect. Remember. Break through, press through, persevere. Your problems will not equal the promises of God in your life. The devil's no cannot compare to God's yes in your life. Come on and just think about it and remember. God, that this word be a word to encourage and inspire and to lift up the children who are willing to glorify your name. We are excited because of who you are and what you are about to do these next two months. God, we're not going to wait until December 
to start praising you. Yes, yes. But we're going to start praising you right now with hands lifted up, claiming victory. That we will, we will, we will finish strong in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this time. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your peace. We pray a blessing over new hope. And Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and just glorify the Lord right now. He is awesome and he 